now. How long has it been since the dog attack? Uh, July, no, August. Uh, August, like September, October. A month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half only. And you had a very severe dog bite uh, to both sides of your face with multiple cuts on the left upper lid and multiple cuts on the right side of your face. This is all torn completely from your face and this part was torn down. And now we're looking how your scars look and some of the problems from the uh, injury. So I want to first show people what the uh, facial nerve problem is, okay? Sure. And thank you for cooperating with thank us you so, so we much. can teach others. So, so the facial nerve comes out of the stylomastoid frame and deep down here, just below the ear, and it spreads across the face and one branch goes here and one branch goes to the eye and one branch goes to the smile and one branch goes to the sneer, pulling the lip down and one branch goes to the neck. So if you raise your eyebrow for me, that's one branch. And now squint really hard, close your eye really hard. This muscle going around that closes. Now relax and smile real big. And we have the zygomaticus muscle and then sneer like, uh, show me your teeth. So the depressor of the lower lip here, that's one branch. And then the last branch is this one in the neck, uh, like that. And you can see his platysma here. So that all looks good. But on this side where you had a injury up here to the facial nerve as it goes up into the forehead, raise your eyebrow. You can see on this side, the frontalis muscle like a, like a blind that lifts up like this, it works just fine. But on this side, it doesn't. And the reason is because that nerve has been, was crushed in the dog bite, unfortunately. Here's the scar and here's the scar from the injury uh, out on the cheek and that's healing up very nicely. And over here, we can see where the scar is, where this was all torn up and it's actually healing beautifully. It's lucky you're a handsome man to start with. Thank you. Now, we're just talking about why does the, uh, when he looks in the mirror, he says, I look scary sometimes. And um, I uh, made a joke that it's because of his bun, but it's not because of your bun, is it? It's because when we look at you, we're expecting to see the same opening of the eye on both sides. We call this the orbital fissure. So we should be about the same on both sides and we shouldn't see too much of the white, the sclera of the eye. And here, the upper lid had several cuts, which you can't even see now, the scars have healed beautifully, but the scar tissue is pushing down a little bit. So this eye, he has a little pushing down of the lid called ptosis, where the eyelid is drooping a little too much over the pupil of the, over the iris of the eye. And over here, he doesn't. So. The upper lid on this side is in the correct spot and the upper lid on this side is a little too low. And then over here, the lower lid is too low. Look up a little bit more. And we see too much white here on the lower. And here we see the right amount of sclera or white. So when we see too much white of the eye, that looks scary. And that's, that's why that looks a little bit scary to you and maybe, and is why you look asymmetric. And over time as that scar tissue softens and may require a little steroid injection, may require some other uh, things that a uh, oculoplastic surgeon may want to, we may need him to help us with, or her to help us with later on. But right now at only this brief time after the injury, what we're going to do is just give his own body time for that scar tissue to mature and for these things to take care of themselves. So, um, and let me ask you, you still like dogs after all this? Yeah, yeah. I have no yeah. problem with dogs. That's good. I, 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 no, no grudges. Good. Well, that's good to not hold good. any, not hold any grudges in I, your heart. I, I think I, that's I good tested, advice. I tested myself, but I failed. The other day, a pit bull passed by me and I was uh, drinking coffee and I, my friend, he, he took off. And I said, I, I want to test myself. But uh, as soon as the dog uh, got too close to me, I jumped and he attacked me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah but uh, he, he attacked me because he sensed fear. 
Yeah. You know, so it's, so maybe it's, it's a little too soon to, feed, to yeah, test yourself. Soon, yeah. right? It's a little I'm, too soon. I'm not with people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With well, chihuahuas, start with chihuahuas. Yeah, start with chihuahuas and we'll maybe start with cats and work yeah. your way up. But thank you for sharing thank your you, story you so and letting us show people thank what you. that looks like because I think it's it's helpful to kind of analyze the anatomy. And I mean, like every doctor I show him this, uh, the ophthalmologist, he said, this is a great job. I mean, like my, my uh, Dr. Zaki, he was questioning how you were able to do this, this precise and it took like a lot of hours. I can remember it was like six hours. It took a long time, yeah. Long time. It took a long time, and I'm Thank pretty fast. So so. Yeah. But you're it very welcome. Traumatic very day. Welcome. Yeah. This time next year, you're going to be a new man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see you later from Aronowitz land.